everyone, today we're working with Tim Holtz District Market. This is a burlap panel. It's about 6 by 8 inches. And I'm going to be using Lindy Stamp Gang products to alter it. I'm going to be using a lot of gesso. And I'm also going to be using some die cut pieces. These have been cut with the AccuCut or um, my cuddle bug. That white piece is the vintage um, card, I believe it's called. By Tim Holt is one of his alteration dies and I'm going to be using um, some tissue paper on it. I'm going to be doing the tissue paper technique. I have a video on it. I'm probably going to put it underneath the description for you. Basically I just take the, my siren machine and I'm going to add some glue to the back of this piece in order for me to adhere the crinkled tissue paper. So that's what I'm doing right now. It's a very simple technique and I love the texture you get from it. So I'm just burnishing the paper to the adhesive on the die cut piece and then I'm just cutting all around it to make sure I still get to see that beautiful shape. And that's what that looks like. Now I'm going to be using the Lindy Stamp Gang Drink Me Silly set. These are all the colors from the set. And these are the ones that I'm going to be using throughout the project. So I'm going to take my box and start spraying this away. I'm going to be using a bit of bubbly first, then fuzzy nibble peach, also my mojito green. I'm using all the colors here, cosmopolitan pink, and blue Hawaiian blue. That's just going to add some wonderful color to this great texture. Then I'm going to be taking some gesso and I'm going to be covering some of the pieces that I plan to put on the burlap panel. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I wanted to cover the color of the pieces like the craft and some of the manila color. I just wanted it to look a little bit more washed out. I didn't want it to be completely white. I just want it you know to have some uniformity in the in the colors. I'm doing the same thing with the burlap panel, just a very distressed, distressed look and shabby chic is what I'm going for. And I'm going to try to figure out where my placement will be. And that's technically all I'm doing here. And I decided I wanted to add some um, seam binding, which I'm going to be altering using some of the sprays. I'm using two sprays and that's because I didn't want it to be completely blue. I wanted it to have more of a toned down version of the color and that's why I mixed some of them. That's something I like to do often and it just creates a bigger palette within the set of the sprays and I love that. So I'm just crinkling with my hands and then I'm drying them up and it's going to dry all crinkled. I'm going to use some soft gel medium generously on all these pieces just to uh, adhere them to the burlap panel. And I'm just going to push that down, make sure it's all nicely set on there. And what you're going to be seeing is that I'm going to be doing that to all the pieces, but I'm also going to be adding a little bit of hot glue behind some of the pieces just um, to hold things over as the medium dries. That's something I like to do just for extra reinforcement I guess and also because I'm very impatient and I don't like waiting for things to dry as I'm working I don't have a lot of time so whenever I do something I gotta try to be as quick as possible and the hot glue just helps everything stay put and helps me work faster so all I'm doing now is gluing things down making sure they're where they you know where they're supposed to be where I want them to be adding the hot glue to make sure everything just fits on nicely now I'm using some Prima wood veneers and also some mulberry paper flowers which I'm gonna alter using the Lindy Stamp Gang products so I'm going to be spraying the flowers first again I'm using the drink me silly set so I'm using only those colors from that set this is a little bit of bubbly Love that color. 
And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and spray the wood veneers. And you're going to see that I'm going to do one of my favorite techniques that you've seen me do so many, many, many times. And is after spraying the wood veneer, while it's still wet, I'll sprinkle a little bit of embossing powder from Lindy Stamp Gang. And I just love the look that creates. I don't cover the entire piece with embossing powder. I just cover certain areas. And when it dries, when you emboss it, the look is just fabulous. I really, really enjoy it. And I do it quite often on my projects, and I'm sure you're familiar with it if you watch my videos. So very simple technique, but the look is fantastic. I really love it. Magic Moon Pearls is the embossing that I use. Now I'm using my Unity Stampo Maker, and I'm using that crinkled ribbon that's already dry. And I'm making a multi-layered multi bow you know, with lots of loops. Now I'm taking some white gesso and I'm going to cover this Tim Holtz key. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I didn't want that color on my layout. I'm going for more of a grungy, messy look, so I'm just dabbing it with my finger just so it's not uniform. I'm using also a Shabby Chic Treasures resin piece from Prima and also another wood veneer from Prima, the word happiness, and I'm just covering very little with my finger using the gesso just to even things out, and then I'm going to add some a little bit of bubbly Lindy Stamp Gang just to add a little bit of color. It's a very pale color, so I add several layers of it just to add a hint of yellow or orangey yellow, and then I'm going to add my Magic Moon Pearls Embossing Powder by Lindy Stamp Gang, which is one of my favorites. And again, you're going to see that great, nice, shiny um, look at the end of the video. I'm taking a picture of my daughter, which I've printed in black and white, and I grunched it up using the Tim Holtz Distressor all around the edges. And I'm just going to use dimensional adhesive to adhere it to the page. And then I'm just going to put everything that I want and that I've already altered on the page. I'm just putting it together. I'm going to be using glossy accents again and then also some hot glue to keep things in place as the glossy accents dries. I do that mostly on the heavy pieces just because the glossy accents is a very heavy, it's a very good adhesive and it's great for heavy things and metal objects so I use it a lot but always with my trusty hot glue gun because that hot glue just helps me finish the projects quicker so if you're comfortable using the glue gun and you're careful I totally recommend it it just it gives you just enough time to move things around if you need to but it dries everything quicker than just regular liquid glue so if time is not on your side, this is the way to go. So I'm just figuring out where everything goes, curling up the edges of the flowers, of the little roses that I'm adding here. Just making sure everything is where I want. I'm adding some of the um, ribbon on the top. And then I decided to add these resin pieces from Recollections. That I've had in my stash for a while and then I'm trying to decide what I'm gonna do with this happiness I think it needs a little bit more color so I just spray it once more and it just looks awesome I didn't want it to be too bright but I wanted it to be a little bit more yellowish so I just added another um, layer of the spray that's one good thing I like I like layering the Lindy Stamp Gang it just makes a big difference when you want to have the tones change a little so I'm adding some hot glue to the back of the veneer, and I'm adhering it where I want it. And now I got some more wood veneers because I wanted to finish the title. Some of these are from Studio Calico, the little alphabets are. And then that U that you see there in blue, that is a Prima wood veneer. It had a heart on the top, and I cut it off because I just wanted the word U. And it's all done. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you have any questions, just leave it underneath the description and I'll try to answer as soon as possible. Also, all the links to everything I used will be on my blog, which is listed below, also in the description box. Check out the Lindy Stamp Gang page and 
check out our color cha challenges and everything that we have going on this month. We're going to have exciting things coming up, so stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching again, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.